Good morning, good morning people good morning, and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's a quiet Sunday in this town. It is eerily quiet out yeah. here in Trelew. What is going on? <laughs> I think maybe people are sleeping in, I don't sleeping know. Sleeping in. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go check the town. We're staying in the city today and we thought we'd have some pasta, yeah. some Italian food, why not? It's been a while and pasta is a big deal here in Argentina. Yeah, we've also noticed some lots of green spaces, parks. Yes. We haven't checked out the pond properly. Oh yeah, behind the, the bus terminal. Yeah, we've gone we there so many times. We can check some of that out. So, so yeah, we're just gonna hit the town, show you guys what Tulu is like on a weekend and join us. Let's do it. If you're looking for a ghost town, I would say Tulu on a Sunday, desolate. We've seen a few cars here and there. I can hear one coming over my shoulder. How rare. Some dogs roaming the streets. But yeah, it's like super quiet. Everything has shut down. So wish us luck as we head out for lunch, looking for food. Oh. We ducked into a restaurant. They specialize in Italian food, lots of pastas on the menu. So we've ordered some gnocchi, some cannelloni, wine. Sam chose a Malbec. Yeah, we went for a half bottle. We have quite a bit to do mm -hmm. still today. Yeah, Yeah, we've had to cut down on the wine because we found that when we order a full bottle, yeah. then we cannot function. And then mains, desserts, so. and it's like, <laughs> we have all these plants, and then mm -hmm. we just end up taking a siesta yeah. instead. So, <laughs> small bottle it is. As much as we like a full bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the food is here. Pasta looks amazing. I went for the Seriously cannelloni. Nice. I have not had this since I was a child and lived in Argentina. My mom used to make them really often with oh, spinach yeah? and a white cream sauce. She hasn't made them in ages. She hasn't taught me the recipe. <laughs> what is this? And we haven't we haven't happened to order it in a restaurant either. Mm. I don't think we've ever had that together, have mm. we? This is so good. Love it. What's the sauce like? The sauce is tomato. And the filling is spinach with ricotta. Mm -hmm. Making a mess. Spinach with ricotta cheese. Nice tomato sauce with big chunks of meat. Mmm. Delicious, Great huh? Great choice on my part. <laughs> Sweet and sour gnocchi for you. Yeah. So mine has plum and bacon stuffed inside. Yeah. And it looks like it com comes in a rich, or it got a rich creamy mushroom sauce, huh? Yes. Look at the size, look at those mushrooms, guys. Mm -hmm. Making sure I get lots of those for the first bite. Mm. Oh. That sauce is so creamy, so rich. Yeah, there's lots of mushroom in there. Oh. I've been Lovely craving surprise. good, like high quality mushrooms like this, so this is, this is amazing. I've been craving pasta, so I'm glad the, we're here today. The gnocchi is the melt in the mouth variety, you just put it in there. <laughs> So mushy. Have you ever had stuffed gnocchi before? Or is this a first for you? Because um, I've never seen it before in my life. Yeah, I guess not. And but it was interesting because we at, at the other restaurant we had in the city it was my first time to try beetroot gnocchi. So there's some um there's some very creative ways of, of having gnocchi here. Yeah, innovative. In, uh, Trey Lou. <laughs> mm. Yeah, fantastic selection. I can't wait to try yours too. Mm -hmm. The best part about filming is that while Sam is getting those close-up sexy macro shots. I'm usually sneaking little bites here and there. <laughs> so you're, you're taking the first sample. Oh yeah. So I've already tried this one. I love it. And I need to show you what the gnocchi look like up close. Oh, did I mention it also has walnut? I think I forgot that. So you've got the bacon, plum, walnuts. If I cut it in half, yeah, you, you can, can see that see it's stuffed. Look at that. It is stuffed. There you go. You can see that really well. Who knew stuffed gnocchi existed? I need this in my life more often <laughs> now that I know. Yeah, time to try the carrot cake. And it is a different type of carrot cake than we're used to. Yeah. Obviously, we think of like cream cheese and a fake little carrot icing. <laughs> exactly. That's what yeah. we were both expecting. And then this arrived and we're like, what? Mm. But it's not bad, isn't it? Oh, it's really good. Nice it's icing. Light. It's light. Warm. It's warm. It has lots of nuts. 
Yeah, it's kind of a nice light dessert. It's got raisins in there too. Good stuff. A bit of whipping cream chocolate drizzled on top. It's a nice dessert. Mm. Well, that was a tasty pasta lunch. Uh, one thing I need to mention is that when it comes to pasta restaurants in Argentina, you normally have to pay one fee for your pasta and then another fee for the sauce which I find really weird. In North America, like, your pasta comes with a sauce. That's not extra. Um, but it is here for some reason. I'm not sure why. And oftentimes, the sauce costs as much as your pasta. So it, like, doubles the price of the dish, which is weird. So it wasn't the cheapest meal. The total was 32 US dollars. And we had two mains, two pasta mains, and a small bottle of wine and some soda water and dessert. We got a carrot cake for dessert. So it was tasty, but it is not cheap. Not cheap pasta. Something to keep in mind if you're gonna be traveling in Argentina when you order pasta. Well guys, today's vlog is gonna be a chatty McChatterson one because there apparently isn't a whole lot to do in town on a Sunday, we're soon finding out. We wanted to take you to Hotel Touring Club, which is one of the main attractions here in the city. This is a hotel and also like a really popular cafe where Butch Cassidy spent some time when he came to Patagonia. In case you haven't heard of Butch Cassidy, he was a bank robber, a bank and train robber. And he decided he was a little too well known in the US, in the wild, wild west. He needed to get out of there. And he thought Patagonia is a pretty good place to be anonymous. We wanted to show you that place, but they don't open on Sunday, so we will do that one of these days. We'll tack it onto this video. So in the meantime, we're gonna keep walking around town, show you some of the parks, things that are free. There's a little lagoon slash lake so maybe we can do that. But as you can see around me, Sundays here in Trelew, there's nothing going on. Everything is shut down, which is so strange. You'd think that people would be going out on weekends, so maybe more restaurants, cafes, bars stay open. It's the complete opposite. Maybe it's like a family day thing. Maybe people spend their Sundays at home with family. Either way, we're walking around. I'm gonna find a bathroom for Sam. <laughs> Sam needs the toilet. Too much soda water, guys. Soda water, wine. Next place we are showing you guys, Laguna Cacique Chiquichano. That name is a bit of a mouthful. Unexpected attraction because we're currently just looking for things to do around town since the main attraction is closed. So we thought we'd walk around this lagoon. It's directly behind the bus terminal. It's pretty nice. There's some ducks in there. They have white bodies and black necks. Interesting. Plaza Centenario for you. Hope you enjoyed the street art. Onwards to the next plaza. One more. And we are now at Plaza Independencia. This is probably the prettiest square in all of Trelew. I like it a lot. There is a bust of Jose de San Martin, the nation's liberator, right in the middle of the square. There's also a nice gazebo. So yeah, if you're looking for a place to enjoy a quiet stroll on a Sunday, this fits the bill. Hello, San Martin. Hello, Sam. Hello, gazebo. And lots of pigeons.
All right, guys, we are back just like we said we would be here at Hotel Touring Club. Coming to you from the future. From the future. <laughs> Drinking wine. We got some anise for Sam. Ooh, they did not skimp out on the portion. How full that is. I'm very impressed with the amount. Yeah, and we ordered a picada. With a half That's bottle of red dinner. wine. Half bottle of bread. Some dessert coming as well. Yep, the, the, the cheese and the membrillo, which is like a jammy kind of thing. It's gonna be good. Gonna be we good. are hungry. hungry in the future. We're hungry in the future because we walked around in the future all day in a town that had nothing open. In yeah. the future. In the future. In the future. <laughs> which you will see in the future. <laughs> Well guys, Picada for two is here at the table. Oh yeah, good decision. So we've got French bread, some chips, we have crackers with, I don't know, like a Roquefort cheese? We'll have to yeah. try that. Uh, black olives, looks like they're spicy. Yeah. Green olives. Green olives. Here we have peanuts, palitos, so they're like little sticks, fried bread, sticks. Bread sticks, kind of. That's it. We've got sweet salami, spicy salami, there's mortadella, cheese, we have these grilled cheese sandwiches, ham and cheese sandwiches. Oh my. And that's just the, the savory portion. We also ordered a little bit of dessert. And of course we have red wine. Red wine. From Mendoza. Ching ching. Ching ching. Oh. It's like a simple meal but filling tasty. For your dessert, we got dulce de membrillo, which yeah. is like a quince jam. Yeah. With cheese. And that's also really nice. But yeah, the salami. My oh my. Yum yum. This is a kind of meal that you really need to have wine or a beer. You were thinking of ordering a tea. Well, I, I was thinking you could. of going for a merienda, like yeah. a tea or coffee with croissants. I saw some people having that, so I was like, ooh. Uh -huh. It's got a bit of everything. It's salty. It's like a, basically a savory delight. Very good, and it goes so well with the wine. And guys, we are basically here because this was a popular hangout spot for Butch yeah. Cassidy. Yeah. Infamous train robber. Ooh. Oh, which is gracias. Wow. Wow. More, more. The piccata around. just keeps coming it's and like coming. It's like hot dogs with mustard. Yeah. Want to lift that up to the camera? And they're hot too. Yes. You know what's, what's fascinating about this place? It has like a timeless feel. It's like a typical Argentine bodegón. It's got like just tons of character on the walls. Vintage items, pictures, posters. This place probably has one of the most impressive displays of, of alcohol that I've seen in a very long time too. Oh, did you get a shot of that earlier? I did. So you walk in here and you're just like, wow, who's this character in history? It's boozy. It's boozy for sure. Well, hello. Oh my gosh. This guy so, ate a lot. It was so full. That was a feast of feasts. Very reasonably priced. How much did it come to in pesos? It came to 780, which is 20 US dollars. Yeah. So let's recap that. We got soda water. We got a half bottle of wine. There was no oh, soda water. Oh, there wasn't? No. Oh, right. Okay, half bottle, sorry, half bottle of wine. I got a shot of anise, which is very generous. Yeah. Got a huge picada spread, which is all the savory items. And then we got the dessert. Ten we bucks. couldn't finish everything. There was still food left on the table, so. You'd, you'd have to be insanely hungry to eat very all of it. Very generous amount. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little add-on. Yeah. And we'll see you with the next video from Argentina. But our next video is actually going to be uh, an interesting one. Uh. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Anyway. I don't want to ruin the surprise. See you in the next video. See you. Bye. Bye.